Hey everybody, this is a thank you video because I've reached a thousand subscribers. And in YouTube world, my um, in teenagers inform me that when you reach a thousand subscribers, you need to do a special. So each of these pieces represents one of you. Hmm, are any of those pieces you? Maybe. It really was humbling to think about each one of these pieces representing a real live breathing human being. So thank you guys for supporting me. I didn't realize how much uh, encouragement that it would really bring me and I appreciate your support. That was my fa daughter's favorite piece. She wanted to save it for last, but we didn't end up saving it for last, spoiler alert. So my plan is to make this finished puzzle my substrate, which is actually a biological term for like the host base layer of something. So I thought that was kind of appropriate since the puzzle will represent real people. That's our cat Peanut. It's actually my daughter's cat. He's kind of a troublemaker. We put him in a box that kept him off the puzzle. <laughs> so there's a little tip for you. If you have a cat that likes to lay on your art projects, give him a box and he'll think it's great. And yeah, we worked on this puzzle for about a week. Um, there he is again. He's kind of obnoxious. It's hard to keep off. He really likes to be in the middle of things. So eh, we'll kick him off here. Get out of there, peanut. All right, see, there he is. Isn't he handsome? Mm-hmm, little troublemaker. So I will let you watch the rest of the puzzle come together. It's about another minute and a half if you want to skip forward and then you can see what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Okay, now that my puzzle is complete, I'm going to glue it. I took some parchment paper, shimmied it under the puzzle on both sides, and then I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and a big sponge brush and pour it over there and just lay it on thick, trying to fill in all the cracks and crannies, just covering it all up, that's all you do, and then I let it dry overnight. Like, ooh, you can already see the pretty shiny coat. Okay, so it's the next morning. Huh, look at the light. You can tell by the light, the sunshine. And it is all pretty solid. And so I'm gonna just flip it over. Yep, one little piece came out. So it's not perfectly um, sturdy yet. So I am going to, first I'm gonna write in Sharpie on my 1000th piece. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing I did on the front to the back. And this time, like the cardboard backing is a little um, more porous. So I wanna make sure that I, I don't um, leave it so thick on there for too long to have like the moisture kind of um, buckle it or anything. So once that dried, I just put some tacky glue on there and then I put a foam board that I got from the Dollar Tree over the back and put some heavy books on it. And I only left it on there for about five minutes, um, just enough for that glue to get real set in. And so there we have it. Then I'm gonna trim off the edge of the foam board um, at, right at the the edge of the puzzle. I thought about trying to find a frame for it. I went to some thrift shops and I didn't want to pay too much money and I thought this this will work just fine. Now I'm going to build on my puzzle and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet so I want to make sure I um, put a drop cloth down. These are play-doh lids that I have kept literally for about 15 years <laughs> and then I tried with different letters. I kind of went around in circles. What am I going to do on this art? So I, I landed on art. <laughs> just it's very simple. 
it's a work of art. So I am taking my white Posca marker and tracing out the letters. And from there, I first I did a mixture of acrylic white paint and some gesso, but um, because at first I thought maybe I'd like to have a little bit of transparency through the white and I end up going back over it again with another layer of white paint because I, um, there's enough showing through that does the trick. So I will once again let you just watch the process. Well, that's my project friends that I made just for you to say thank you. I appreciate your support. Thanks for being a subscriber and I hope that you're inspired to go make some art.